What's up guys, this is Vernon here with another little tutorial. Sorry for the big delay on an upload, I've been like really really busy in that. Um, so I thought I'd just throw you this one in because I don't think I've done it yet. So, um, basically we're going to be putting 3DS Max models into Cinema 4D. So if we just open up Cinema uh, 3DS Max, so we'll do that now. Um, I shall show you, and I've got a little thing to show at the end as well, it's quite, um, I'm quite happy with it, but I haven't uploaded any yet, and I'll tell you that more to the end of the video. So I'll just wait for this to upload now. Um, yeah, I, I can't remember the last time I had a an upload, that was the 22nd, so it's been a good a week and a half, two weeks. Um, not as many views as I thought it'd get, but you know... I've just got used to it by now, pretty much. Just, you know. Overall, on the whole, all the video views are pretty much a thousand, if not a bit more. So, oh, this is loading. <clears throat> I've got that Black Ops game, uh, Black Ops 2. Um, fucking. <clears throat> the theatre mode won't work, so like, I, I, the first ever game I played on Black Ops, first time I ever held the controller and actually played it, I got a 30 to 4 gameplay of free throw. I thought that was pretty fucking sweet. Um, it's not like that now. I just used a DSR 50 to try and get some clips, which I've got triple feed through like, a collateral headshot. Whether it's good or not, I'm not sure, I'm not a player, I'm fucking, you know, I just edit. I know some standards, but... I wouldn't know if you got like a kill and then a collateral headshot, like a triple feed. I don't know if that's good or not. But it's good for me, it's good. But why does auto to desk always take ages to load? You know, I've just got in basically for my work. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, so we've got 3ds Max open. I've got a, a basic like military camp um, in a 3ds format. So if I just open that up now. Um, open file. Uh, pfft, I don't know what to do there, but yeah. Okay, we got our 3DS Max model. Boom, it's in. Um, what you just want to do is just go File, Export. Just go to Desktop, and uh, you could do FBX or OBJ. I always do OBA, OBJ. Just name that something and export. And that'll render its way through then you just click done you can come out of it then you need to open up Cinema 4D and you can import the OBJ in and then obviously here it is you just add your textures on now now this one was a bit harder if you have like codes now where you can just like double click that enter then that would be really good but this one's just a bit different I have to sort of look at what the texture is. So I know this is a flag and I know that there is a flag texture which is here. So if I just double click on this and just load the flag in, that's all good because I know I've sort of done this before. So I know the ground is this desert top which is this one. Just turn on specular and you have to just do it like that that's a tent, that's wood, and basically that's how you do it, and then you can just save it, and that's your model from 3DS in Cinema 4D, it's pretty easy, um, just thought I'd show you anyway, the finished version, I will actually just open it up once you've done all the textures, it will look like this, I've added a few like strikers and payloads in and that, and a few more background and lights, um, just to make it blend in more, so say I want to, well, I'll show you the details as well of it, it's pretty nice with the lights, if I just say render this out, I've, I've added the hills to make it look more realistic. Uh, so we've got ambient occlusion and a bit of a sharpen filter. So we just render that out now. It's got nice shadows. It's, you know, it looks really nice, in my opinion. A few more things, motion blur, I don't know. Depends what you're doing, really. But it does look pretty nice model. What about that one? Or is that the last one? Not last. What? Last. Oh, you idiot. One was for me. So you ate mine. Mum said. 
Should have got that quicker. Jesus Christ. So yeah, anyway guys, this is the outcome, which is pretty nice. Really nice in fact. Then with the sharpen makes it just a bit sharper, but I can turn it down. So yeah, that's how you can put 3DS Max models into Cinema 4D. Now what I was gonna show you um which I said in the start is Battlefield 3 models. Now I know everyone's been looking for these. Um Kirill. Now I've got his model. Um obviously what I got it um off the internet somewhere, I can't remember where, but it was pretty low poly. Um if you don't know what Krill is or even you don't you know you don't know what Battlefield 3 models are but you need them if you know what I mean. Um just to sort of proof this is how I proved it because I haven't actually got Battlefield so I don't know what I'm looking for but if you just type in Kirill, I don't know, Battlefield Battlefield 3 and then just go to images I know that's Kirill because um, obviously that's the same face the little indent in his chin scars on his face short hair short, short buzzed hair so uh, big outwards ears so that's definitely him alright um, obviously I just come into a few problems which I have fixed but it will take probably a little bit more time to to sort of sort out obviously it's really low poly and it's all chunky but I've added a hypernerbs onto it and that is now a little smooth so that is really good um, I've animated his face if I just go into here uh, so far I've just done blink oh, let me just turn off the hypernerbs that's just making everything go slow. But yeah, if I just click on that, I've just got sort of this animation, just where his eyes shut and some of his like his eyebrows down, his cheeks lift, or just a literal a little uh, I don't know, just a blink, shall I say, which makes it a little bit better. Um, so if I just add the hypernerves back in, and I've added some lights, um, as you can see here. It's coming from the right and the shadows are on the left. So if I, I just hide that just for, you know, just so I can work with it easily. If I just render that out now, you'll see the detail um, of the face with the light in, like the shadows. And it is a pretty nice model. It is a really good high detailed model. Um, whoever managed to get them, fucking legend. Not me though, I just downloaded them and I'm sharing them. I didn't actually rip them, just let you know. Now look at that, that is one beast of a picture. Look at the detail, the sharpness of it. Obviously I've had a bit of a sharpened filter, but that is really nice. Um, and I have got... Uh, I've got all the weapon uh, weapon attachments, I've got hollow sights, flashlights. They're all little separate things you can add onto a gun to make it better. I've got a multiplayer US sniper support. I don't know what that is. Engine? Engineer. Engineer. Oh, yeah, engineer. That's it. And assault. Um, there's a few more to go. I've got the Kavarov, Russian paratroopers, SP US soldiers, and also Vadim, or whoever, whatever it is. Because um, obviously, when I opened it up, it's in the folder of Vladim Vladimir and Kirill. They're two different people, I didn't realise that, but I will do Vladimir after. But um, if you want them, uh, if you want me to put them up for download, then please like and comment in the video and share it around. And, you know, please stay active because obviously, you know, it's a bit hard to get videos out, you know, with what I'm doing now at this point in time in my life, shall I say. Um, so yeah, just with the extra support, that'll, that'll be a bit better. Um, not really motivated for anything now. Everyone's just gone sort of inactive. So uh, sort of turned me inactive because it's like you know. But anyway, I'm not gonna bore you too much. Battlefield Three models are I do have them, um, and they're really good, good quality as you saw. So yeah, please like and comment the video, subscribe if you haven't, and share it around with your friends or whatever, or just you know just share it out on a Facebook page. That'd be really good. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace.